Okay, so now that we've talked about minerals, let's talk about shipyards. So we got we start off with two shipyards, um, Creon Company Limited and Connor Steel and Shipbuilding. Start from the top. Type, naval, commercial. Um, there are three types of ships. Naval ships, commercial ships, and civilian ships. Civilian ships, you don't control. They are the civilian sector. The two types that you do control are naval and commercial. Naval, the only real difference is that naval ships require maintenance. Commercial ships don't. Um, if you have maintenance turned on, which we do. If you don't have maintenance ships turned on, then, uh, if you don't have maintenance turned on, then there's no real practical difference. But naval ships are meant for fighting and precision instruments. Uh, commercial are bulk and chunk. Um, this is the total capacity. This is the tonnage capacity of the shipyard. Uh, this is how many slipways it has. So you can build or work on one ship per slipway. And this is how many it has available. So if we have a construction project in place, then it will reduce the amount of available slipways. The assigned class is what class of ship is currently assigned to the slipway, to the shipyard. Basically what it's tooled for. We'll get to that later. Current activity is what the shipyard is doing to itself, not what it's building. So this is what it's doing to itself. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, this is the progress of whatever it's doing and when it can expect it to be done. And this is the rate that it's doing whatever it's doing to itself. So down here is what we set what we set it to actually do. We've got a couple of options. Add slipway. We'll add an additional slipway to the shipyard so we can work on multiple ships at once. Build cost is 240. Our mod rate is 240. So our completion date is exactly a year uh, you can also set a certain amount of add a certain amount of capacity you can retool it to a class of a different cl a, a class or a different class of ship and you can also do continual capacity upgrade up to a certain tonnage now quite frankly be, uh, these are functionally redundant there is no real benefit these are just artifacts left over from vb6 because in vb6 before c sharp you didn't have the capacity target so if you set continual capacity upgrade and then you forgot about it 10 years down the road you end up with a million ton slipway and literally nothing you can practically do with it so that's why these were in place so that you could build a at a set amount of capacity now that you have continual capacity upgrade they are entirely redundant Slipway, retool, and continual is all you ever really need. Continual capacity is the fastest way to update the slipway, uh, update the shipyard, because each tonnage of capacity added increases the mod rate, which makes the next tonnage uh, added faster. So, yeah, these are just a slower way to add the same amount of capacity of a restricted amount. There's no practical purpose. You, you, the best thing to do is continue capacity upgrade and just set the target. Um, that said, it does... That said, these do give you a rough idea of how long it's going to take. So a th adding 1,000 tons has a build cost of 240. 2,000 has 480. 10,000 has 2,400. So it will give you a rough idea of how much it's going to actually cost to add that much tonnage. So while continual capacity will not take 10 years to build to add 10,000 tons, it will still cost 2,400 actual minerals. So they're useful to give you a rough idea of how long it's going to take, but you don't want to actually use them. Continual capacity is where it's at. Set activity will actually lock the activity in. Delete will cancel any activity running. Pause will stop it in case you run out of minerals. Rename will let you rename the shipyard. Order rename will just pick a random name out of the list. And delete will destroy the shipyard. Why you want to delete a shipyard? I don't know. Reasons, I guess. Up to you. But delete shipyard, it's where it's at. Down here are what you want the shipyards to actually do. So a uh, shipyard constructs, repairs, refits, and scraps. Construction builds a new ship. 
Repair will repair a ship that's uh, damaged. Refit will turn one ship type class into another. Scrap will disassemble a ship and return some stuff. Auto refit will refit any ship into the new one that arrives in the same location. So refit is manual. Auto will, as soon as the ship, the, the, the correct ship type arrives, it will automatically grab it, yank it in, start the refit process, and then spit it back out again. So can come in handy if you have like a hundred freighters and you're wanting to refit them all. That's where auto refit comes in. So when the freighter arrives, it'll automatically refit it. Because if you only have one slipway, you don't want to go through a hundred freighters one at a time manually. That's just not, that's just hellish. You don't want to deal with that shit. You set the order refit, and then it does it itself. Every time a freighter comes by, it grabs it, refits it, sends it, sends it on its send it on its way without having to interrupt its orders or anything like that. So that's very, very useful. Um, fleet tells you where you're building the ship into. Um, this is very, very, very important. If you're building a ship into a fleet, that fleet can not move. You can give it orders, but it can not move. It is completely incapable of moving. Its speed is zero. It cannot move. If you are building a ship, if you are trying to move a fleet and it's everything looks normal, look here. Make sure you're not building a ship into it because you cannot move a fleet that has a ship that's being built into it, which is why you should only ever build ships into the shipyard fleet. That's what it's there for. It sits in orbit forever. You build ships into it and then you move them into your other fleets. Makes, it leaves a lot of hassle. So the first thing you should do is set shipyard fleet for construction and set default fleet so it's the default fleet that you're building ships into. Very, very important. Never build a ship into a fleet that you're going to be moving soon uh, because that locks it in for the entire construction period. And it's going to take you five years to build the ship. That fleet can't move for five years. So, yeah. Um, now, the use component checkbox will tell the shipyard to use any existing components that are compatible with that ship in storage to build the ship. So the reason why you want to do that is if you have, um, let's say the engines of a ship are 20% of the build cost. If you already have those engines in stockpile, then using those engines will save 20% of the construction time because the mod rate is by ship cost. So if you don't, so if the shipyard doesn't have to build 20% of the ship cost itself, you save 20% of the of the build time. So, yeah, uh, use components is handy uh, unless there's a specific reason you don't want to use components in stockpile. You, you should always use. You, can, you should always keep this ticked. Because we have no classes, we can't select it, but this will tell you the build cost and the completion date. Keep in mind that these do not take components into effect. These are as if the use components was unticked. So if you do have components that you're using, this will be inaccurate. It will be less. Uh, in here, you can name, you can give the ship a name um, when it's built um, that it will take on automatically. Uh, these are automatically generated based on um, theme names and stuff like that. Uh, we'll, we'll cover that once we actually get to ships. Shipyard tasks is all ship is everything that the shipyards are doing in here. So we'll give you a summary of what the shipyards are actually doing. So what they're building, what they're repairing, what they're refitting, what they're scrapping, and um, how long it's going to take. Um, this is where you can find out what yard, what shipyard, what, what fleet they are being built into. Uh, this is actually a typo. They used to be called task groups, now they're called fleets. So this is where they're actually assigned to. Um, and you can cancel, pause, you can rename the ships in here as well. You get some sorting for stuff as well. Uh, we'll come back to this once we actually uh, get to building ships.